It's definitely an important topic, security and licensing inside of Dynamics 365 FNO. That's why introduction of this brand new feature that is called User Security Governance that became available in the recent release 43 is a big deal. This video is not meant to be a complete overview of the functionality available with this feature. Instead, it offers my first impressions after working with the functionality for several hours. So let's take a look. After we enable the feature, we can then go and navigate to the security and security governance. And in there, we see several menu items. Let's just take a look at them one by one. In the security analysis form, we see a list of different roles with their corresponding privileges alongside with their access levels, such as read, update, create, and delete. We can look at it from a perspective of a role, entry point, user entry point, and then the history of changes. We also have this licenses usage summary, which can be quite useful for organizations that are trying to determine the level of access that each individual user or security role has, and then trying to optimize and maybe remove certain access points to downgrade a level for a specific security role or a user to a lower license. We can look at it from perspective of the user, on the previous screen or the role right here. And we can also look at the user licensing summary. There is also user activity aging log that shows us days that the user was logged in last time. There is a security versions, which is something that I will talk about in the second part of this video. Role audit trail, currently empty. Temporary role management, that is where we can assign an elevated level of access to a user on the temporary basis. We can also look at any violations related to our segregation of duties rules. And finally, we can also allow a temporary elevated access to a privileged user. Now, I just wanted to see how easy it is to manage different aspects of security. And I decided to try one test. For that, I went to the security process roles maintain form. In the top left corner, you see those security categories. And currently I have created a single one that is for USMF legal entity. So that's the one that I will select. First, we need to create a process. So the process can be departmental, uh, for example, finance or operations, etc., or they can represent specific process, for example, procure to pay. So this is what I will do here. Click on the new process. I will name my process P2P. Description is optional and the version is optional. Click on OK. So now in my top pane, I see details of that process I just created. So in here, I will assign my company, US MF. In here, I can create a parent-child relationship so I can have different sub processes underneath my parent process. So that's something that can definitely come handy when you actually building a real life scenarios. But what I'll do for the purposes of a simple demonstration is I will create a new security task right here. Bottom pane right here, I can click on new. And let's say I want to create a task that has permissions related to creating purchase order from vendors form, for example. So I will name my task, same description. So now I have a task created. You see it has a name, a description, and then auto-generated task ID. Now we need to go and start adding access points to it. We can do that manually by going to the lower pane, click on add entry points, and select the type of entry point, for example, a menu item, click on the drop down, see all the display menu items, select few of those, or maybe, for example, adding menu items for output or action, and the same idea. We can select one or multiple from the dropdown. But what I want to do instead is I want to do it in a semi-automatic fashion. So you will see that the options that I have here under these three dots right here, I can load entry points either from a file or I can load them from an existing task which will not work for me because I only have one. I can also load these access points from an existing user or role, or I can load them from a task recording, which I think can be quite handy. So if you have access to task recorder, you can record a certain process and then upload that recording and the system will derive access points that are needed to carry out such recording. But what I'll do instead 
is I will create it by going to the menu item itself. But before I do that, you will see that I need to create a duty and the privilege. Right now, the duty and the privilege is blank. Now I'll go and click on create new duty. I will name my duty exactly the same way as my task. Populate description and click on OK. So now I see a duty and the privilege that were automatically created. Now we need to go and think about how we're going to define access points for this security task that is assigned to that brand new duty and the privilege. We're going to go into the system and navigate to that menu item that we want user to have access to. So in this case, the task is to create a purchase order from the vendor form. So what I will do in my next step, I will go to all vendors form, navigate to procurement tab, and look at this menu item that is called new purchase order. I'm going to right click on it, form information, form name. In here, you may notice two new fields. One is called menu item type. In this case, it's action. That is because it's an action to create a new purchase order from a vendor. And then the menu item name, which is purchase create order from vendor. So what I'll do here is I want to look at the permissions that are required for a user to access this action. I'm going to click on view permissions. And in here, I see a long list of different menu items, fields, controls, tables, etc., that are required to access this action. What you would do in a real life scenario, you would just go and select all of them, and then you would want to add them to your task. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to randomly select a few menu items right here, and I would like to add entry points to the task. Click on OK. And in here, we see that task that we just created. So I'm going to select it. And if you do not see that task, that is because you did not create a duty and the privilege for that task. So make sure to do that first. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now we see a message that the selected entry points have been added to my task. Let's go back to our process and refresh the form. Now we see three entry points. All of them are menu items uh, that are associated with our security task. We see create case, contact and the forecast. Those are just random access points that I have added. What I can do now is scroll down and look at, for example, at specific menu item, create case, and I can look at the three security roles that currently give access to this menu item. I can look at the a different number of different duties that have access to this create case menu item, as well as several privileges that have the same access, right? I can do it for all three menu items that I have added to our task. So with that now, it's all about going and committing those changes. I can go to security configuration, go to unpublish objects. In here, I would see two tasks that are yet to be published. One is duty, one is privilege. And for example, I can take a look at the duty that was created a bit more closely by going into duty searching for it. In here, if I click on the privilege, I see that this duty has a single privilege. We all remember how it was auto created. And if I click on this privilege right here, and go to display menu items, I see three menu items that have been added to that privilege. So that is basically it. So again, this is not a complete overview of the functionality. It's just my first impression of working with the functionality for a couple of hours. This is definitely leaps and bounds above what we have right now. There are a lot of different features that will be quite useful to different organizations. Looking forward to content from other creators about this very important topic. Hope you found this video useful. Until the next time, take care.